welcome welcome back in today's video i think it has been a long time you see my mouth shaking yes it's a very long time but i decided to make this video today since my hair is out i want to talk about how i grew my hair during my challenge so that's why we're here if you are new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel so i did a six month hair growth challenge with different kind of protective style so i'm here to talk about those things what i did in that six months to get my hair this much i'll leave a picture of how my hair was before i started this challenge and you will see the progress we made and also my ages i love showing people my ages so that you can know that whatever i was doing on my hair it works and you see where i'm coming from if you are where i was and you are trying to grow your ages these things I'm about to say is going to help you out with your hair. Also, I'm going to measure my hair at the end of this video because it has been six months. I want to know where my hair is now. So the first thing that helped my hair grow this much is protective style. When I was doing this challenge, I decided to go with protective style and I noticed that protective style works so well for me. And while my protective style was also taking care of my hair, my scalp and every single thing that has to do with the health of my hair, and the first protective step was braid. I was using clove water mixed with oregano and a little bit of aloe vera juice on that protective style. Those are the two things I used during that protective style. I'll be inserting the clip of the video so that you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not even joking. I did exactly what I'm telling you here. About three weeks, that is about a month, I take that protective style down. I twisted my hair and why twisting that hair but one week later i decided to do a serious protective tie and it works for me yes it works so well for me and see my hair now i just take down my protective tie yesterday and i decided to record this video today before i wash condition my hair you can see the growth and we also measure it together then the things i was doing during the six month challenge i was using a lot of home remedies and i'm going to be showing you all the remedies I used during this protective style and during this six month hair growth challenge. I use clove water, clove water and clove oil. Yes, and also clove water because whatever I decide to use at that period, I want to use it with all tension of growing my hair. So if I'm using clove water, I'll use clove water and clove oil and clove butter. All these things, the clove butter, I made it myself. This is how much I've used. I have clove oil around and clove water. I was using it with the intention that yes, I want clove to grow my hair. So I was doing everything possible to avoid dryness, to avoid itchy scalp and all the negative side of clove. So I was doing everything possible to grow my hair using clove. So Lavara, I'm also using it right now. I love our oil. I just made this oil not so long ago. Love our oil, I think you'll be going up or you're already on my channel. I just record the video so I don't know whether it will go up before this one. Any one I'll decide to go up is what it is. Up. And it works so effectively well. If you are looking for a way to drag dandruff out of your hair or itchy scalp, then try that aloe vera oil. And to also hydrate your scalp in this winter and summertime period, then go with the aloe vera hair growth oil. I use onion juice also on my hair. As I'm talking, I'll be dropping the clip of every single thing I did so you can be seen exactly what it is so i use onion juice and in my onion juice sometimes i put garlic sometimes i don't sometimes i put cameron pepper this is the cameron pepper i add this in my onion juice to stimulate hair growth so that i can speed up the process of hair growth that's why i was using a lot of stimulants in my hair the stimulants i use i use tea tree oil eucalyptus oil and pepper cameron pepper or normal pepper any pepper i feel like using i use i use garlic i use ginger so if you really want to see growth please use essential oil or remedies that stimulate hair growth the ones that when you put in your hair you can feel that something is in your head when you put in your hair you notice that they have effect reaction immediately so those are the things i was doing during my six months hair growth challenge what i do on my wash days is i wash my hair in the protective style this is not for me anytime my hair is out i need to comb it in section if i don't want too much breakage i need to moisturize it before combing and i have to be very gentle while doing that so that i cannot get a lot of breakage and that is the least thing i want to do because i don't know how to take care of my hair when my hair is out 
that's why I prefer taking care of my hair in the protective style. That is why I love protective style so much. Olive oil, you can see I've been using it a lot. The reason why I love olive oil is a penetrating oil and it works for my hair. Any of my oil you see on my channel is always olive oil. And my leave-in conditioner, I moisturize my hair when I notice that the body of my hair is dry. So I use this leave-in conditioner. This is Indian Hair and Clove Oil. I've been using it on my scalp to stimulate hair growth. And you can see it's really, really small because I've been using it a lot. It works for me, so I use it on my hair as well. My best friend. I have aloe vera in the garden. So I use aloe vera during my protective style. Those are the things that helps my hair to grow. I don't want this video to be long because anytime I'm doing a sit-down video, it's boring for me even to watch. So I don't like sit-down videos to be long. Now it's time for me to measure my hair to see how much growth I have during these six months. Hmm. I wish I can be doing challenge all the time because anytime I see results after hair growth challenge, I would love to try it again. Hmm. And to my breast. Yeah. So for my hair stuff. Anytime I measure my hair, I feel like I did not get the accurate measurement. I feel like the measuring tape is not stretched enough. For it to give me accurate results, now I'm just going ahead to stretch my hair to see where my hair is stuck at. This side is actually longer than the other side. I think this is all for today's video so i hope you enjoyed this update on how i grow my hair during the six months challenge and if you love this video please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video might be helpful to anybody out there that you might share this video with thank you so much for watching so if you enjoyed this video please give me a huge thumbs up and i will see you in my other video thank you so much for watching bye